Hi everyone, as you can see I am logged on to our Google Classroom and uh, I'm logged in as my daughter so I can see things from your point of view rather than mine because it's a little bit different. Um, and some people have been having trouble figuring out how to edit the documents um, or how to submit pictures and those kinds of things. So I'm just going to do a quick, quick video for that. So I'm going to go over here to where you can see the assignments and view all. I'm going to go, okay, I'm going to click on today's assignment, well not today's assignment, I'm going to click on the assignment at the top because it's just there. I'm going to go to view details and I'm going to see all the fun stuff that we're supposed to do there. And then what I'm going to do is go down here and let's say for example, um, I'm going to do the fraction one because that's probably more of what we need to do. So I'm going to open it and you're right that it's, you can't just edit right in here. Um, because the reason for that is it's showing you I could be able to edit, but I can't because this document is for every single person in the classroom. And if one person changes it, then it's changed for everyone. So as you can see, I've made here, it's a view only copy so that when one person is typing in their answers, it's not changed for everyone. So what you need to do is go over to file, click on that, go over to make a copy and entire presentation. And then you need to go get rid of this copy of part. And then you can write your name. Um, I'm going to write it's my daughter's name and then a dash. And then there's the title there. Um, this part here is for you to remember wh what it is that's in the document. This part, when you send it to me, is for me so that I know who sent it to me. I know it does um, say your name by the email and whatever else, uh, but sometimes it can get kind of confusing when I receive a whole bunch of things. I'm going to go to my drive here and I can choose where I'm going to put that. So I can choose to put that. I've asked you to all make a 2019-2020 folder, so you should have that good to go. Go in there and uh, I'm going to put that, you should have, you're not going to have all of these ones, um, but you should have an ELA, you should have a French, and you should have a math. So you can just put, pop it in there, click that, press select, and okay. Then it's going to open up your own copy, and as you can see, there's the old copy there and your copy here. So you're just going to close down that old copy, and now you've got your copy. And it should, yeah, my camera will focus again, uh, ish. Okay, now you can actually go in and get rid of that X and make it something else. Oh, sorry, I did that the wrong way. Anyways, there we go. Now I can get rid of the X and type in whatever it is I want to type in. Works the same for type your name here. You can type, so you kind of highlight that box, click it once, and then the box should show around. And then you double click inside of it. And then you can type your name in. All your answers are editable there. So every time I have an X or a type your answer here or a type your name here, those are editable. Now, if there is not an X or something there and you want to add something there, all you need to do is go over to this text box, add it in, and you can type in your own X or whatever it is that you wanted to type out. So if you're having trouble doing that, um, there you go. Now there are some questions that I've asked um, for the newest decimals assignment for things to be, or sometimes for the fractions, for things to be shaded. If I wanted to shade something, I can go to insert. There's probably a good way of doing this. I'm doing it this way though. I'm going to insert a table. I'm just going to say, make it that big. And I can move that table around. Say if I wanted to shade in a certain area, I can come on over here and I can highlight it by going up here and then picking whatever color I want. I'm going to make that one orange so you can see the difference between that and the other stuff. So you can you can highlight and do different things. I'm going to erase that because that was weird. Um, there's also a scribble option. If you just wanted to write on the slide, um, it's hard to do, but it can be done. 
Um, you can draw lines. So if I ever asked you to match something on one side of the page to something on the other, like a coin to its value, for example, you could draw a line between arrows, lots of different things. And you can also do scribble, which is just simply you draw on whatever you want to draw. If you want to draw me a happy face, cool. I'd like to receive a happy face. Um, okay. So then when you're done, we're going to say, I'm done with that. I'm going to close that down and I'm ready to submit that as an assignment with my random things that I've done to it. Pretend I actually did what I was supposed to. And I'm going to go to add or create. I'm going to go to Google drive. And my most recent thing I've done is going to pop up right here. So I can just click on that and click add and it will go right there. If it's something I did earlier in the week, I could search up here under the title get whoops Gabriella oh fraction practice assessment there we go so you can either find it there or there and then it's going to add it for me so that I can see what you've done you can add more than one thing as you can see this is still here I can add things so if I also had a picture that I wanted to add um, I could especially if this is on your parents phone and they've taken a picture of some work you've done um, you can you have to log on to your Gmail account, your Nest Pass account from their phone. So either they can do that or you can do that for them, whatever your parents say because it's their phone. Um, and click File. And for me, that's going to show a whole bunch of random files on my computer. For you on your phone, the first things that are going to come up are going to be pictures. And then you can click the picture. So if I had that, let's see what comes up. I could just put something in there, a PDF, whatever. It's going to go there. I can press upload and I can add in as many things as I like okay if I wanted to create something say I wanted to create a piece of free choice writing and there was nothing on there I could create my own document and add that on there I would ask that if you are at, um, creating your own document please make sure this is how it's going to be labeled um, you can do better than that though. I like that the name is on the front. Please keep that. But you can change from the date to what it is. If it's procedural writing or persuasive writing or whatever, you could write that down. That would be fine. And then um, in the end, when you're done it, close it. Um, and then you can add it. Okay. There's probably a different way to do that, but um, that's my my way of doing it. Okay, um, I hope that's helpful to get you to figure out how to edit the documents I have made, as well as how to um, include and submit multiple different kinds of things that you've done. If you had, um, if you made a video and you wanted to, and you put it on YouTube and you wanted me to see it, you could always do a link and copy the link right over there and submit that. Um, lots of different ways that you can show me your work. So this is the way I prefer to see your work. Um, it's just absolutely easiest for me, um, which is good because there's so many people submitting work, which is fantastic. Anyways, I hope you have a great day and this makes sense. If it doesn't make sense or if you're having trouble and you're not seeing the same thing on your screen, please let me know. You can private message me and um, I can either make another tutorial to guide you through. I can do a video Google Hangouts and guide you through or whatever it is that you need. Okay. Have a good day. Bye.